Hello everyone, um, my name is Kafu, as usual, I'm from the Cottage Bar and today I'm going to show you how to prepare the rice lamborghini. And in our previous video, we, we showed you how to prepare the, the Samia lamborghini and I promised I was going to come back to you on how to prepare the rice lamborghini. So the ingredients we need for preparing rice lamborghini, uh, you need cloves, also known as pepper. We also need grains of salem, which is also known as pentia in Ghana. Um, we need lots of ginger, and then we need a little bit of um, star anise. We also call it the star fruits, it's still fine. And then we need some sugar, lots of that. Okay, so the main ingredients for the rice lamjin is rice. And this rice is pre-soaked overnight, so we are to ensure that the rice is very soft for us to be able to to blend easily. So this, what we're going to do now is we're going to put this, all these ingredients together. As I usually say in my videos, I like to really blend all the dry ingredients together before I blend the the soft ingredients. So we're going to do that right now, and I'm going to start with the little dry ingredients I need. So I'm taking, I always say, this particular um, grains of salem is very bitter, so you just need a little bit of it if you're drinking. So I'm going to have to use only two. Um, for the star anise, I like the smell, I like the effect it has in my drink. So I'm going to pick um, this quantity, we'll do, let me just add a bit. Okay. And then uh, my main ingredients which is the ginger, it's not going to come now. So this is the cloves. I like a lot of cloves. So now, if you want it to be extra hot, then you can add some cayenne pepper to it, but I don't want to be extra hot because there's so many children at home now. I want us to really enjoy it. So I'm not going to add any pepper to it. The ginger effect will be okay. So um, this is what we are going to blend this one and I'm going to chop this I'm going to chop the ginger into pieces and we are going to blend that as well in this one okay, so. So, um, finish slicing our ginger. All this ginger is sliced, we're going to just put them into the, the blender and we're going to blend it straight away.
ginger. Lamotin is basically a ginger drink, so we are only adding rice to make it different from the, the Samia one. It's also very healthy. I'm now going to, I'm also going to cut. Okay, so now that we are done blending the ginger, we need to blend this rice. The rice has been pre-soaked, so it's it's very soft to be blended. And you notice that I didn't I didn't cleanse inside the the blender very much. We're still going to mix with the ginger anyway. So this is one cup of rice that we are going to be blending now. We are done blending our rice and we have to see just look at the color and how smooth it is. So this this rice can be pre um, pre blended again. It's a pre it can be re blended again, so that you can you can add a little more water to it and still use it. my rice very fine when I blend so I will blend it again and take out the water so this is what we have right now um, ginger so this is the residue we had from from the ginger I'm going to pour that here and I need to get extra ginger taste so I'm going to mix it up but I know it's not going to be enough ginger in this mixture so I'm still going to add a little water to the ginger we have here to mix it up so I can help with you like I did for the last uh, one. This is 
is an easy way to stir it with ginger back into your drink. Actually, some people chop all the ingredients together. You can put the ginger together with the rice and blend them together and use later on. That is still another way. But I prefer to put them separately just in case one will get the ginger will come too much. This process really helps. So I'm still going to see a bit of the ginger again and transfer it into the rice. So at this stage our lamujin is ready. You should be here to smell it. It smells so good. The aroma is so so good. And we are going to add our sugar to taste. So um, depending on how how much sugar you like yourself, what well, I'll do about four, four tablespoons. That should do. This drink is very healthy. It can be served. You can be served as breakfast. You can be served as lunch. You can also be served after eating in the evening. So it's just a healthy drink you can have at home. And actually, the children really, 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 really love it. The ginger is not too much. The spices are not too much in this drink. So it's really enjoyable. You can also add cinnamon to it to give it an extra taste. But I want it to be said as a little of a gin, so I'm not going to add um, most of my to it. Um, I think right now the sugar level is good. We are going to pour the drink into our dispenser and we are going to set it. So we are done with our rice long gin and this is the final outcome of it. Um, you should see how milky it looks. It tastes very delicious. You can also try this at home and um, let us know how, how it turned out for you. So cheers! Mm.